Hey guys, what's up? This is Punk Guy here. Thanks for joining me back on my art channel. Now, if you guys know me or know anything about me, you guys know that I'm a huge uh, Marvel guy, especially old school X-Men. I kind of grew up with that uh, Jim Lee 90s X-Men era, and I've always kind of loved that. And I, uh, as you can see back here, I painted this really huge uh, 18 by 24 uh, acrylic on, a, on wood panel. Um, X-Men piece and I just kind of wanted to share with you guys how I did this. I'm going to do a little little bit different instead of just doing a time lapse. I'm going to talk over and uh, just kind of share my process with everyone on how I created this really huge uh, X-Men versus Sentinel piece. Uh, so here it is. I hope you guys like it. Now, of course, what kind of X-Men video would this be if you didn't play the original 90s X-Men cartoon classic, classic theme song? Anyway, I just wanted to say here is the initial underpainting that I'm doing. I'm doing it in a grayscale, and all the warm colors I am doing with the burnt umber. And people always ask me why I do these underpaintings. It's just because... It's easy to lay down the colors and uh, doing glazes over it. You'll see later on, especially with the Cyclops, how well it worked out to do the glazing. Now here you can see I'm starting to do the background. I was going to keep it that kind of pale color with the burnt umber and sienna and a little bit of green. And I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do. I saw some really cool like Braum and Frazetta pictures that use these colors in the background to make the actual uh, characters pop because X can have a lot of color in it and I didn't want to make it a real uh, gray or tone it down. I, I wanted their colors to be real vibrant and so I thought if I made the background dark then the colors would pop even more and that's what I'm doing, kind of making these weird fantasy cloud illusions and stuff like that. It was really kind of hard and fun at the same time to figure out what the hell I was trying to do. Now right here you can see is where I'm starting to glaze, I'm just putting a thin color of the blue over the grayscale and you can see how it really pops and I know where my dark and my lights are. And the funnest part about painting Cyclops is his optic glass because they get to do a really cool red glowing effect on here as you can see and it reflects back onto his costume which is always fun, I love doing that. It makes it real three dimensional and makes it look uh, alive. Anyway, Cyclops has always been one of my favorite characters of the X-Men. I feel like in the cartoons and in the movies, he gets no love. They always make him look like a wuss. But he's always been the strong, silent type and just a straight-up badass, especially in the 2010s. So that's why I gave him this outfit as opposed to the early 90s with all the belt buckles and, you know, the pockets and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, the optic glass was really one of the funnest things to paint on this as well. So here I had an option of which Wolverine suit I wanted to do, and there's a couple of reasons why I chose the brown suit over the yellow suit. One is, I feel it's more savage of Wolverine to wear the brown suit. The, the yellow is too bright, and I wanted Colossus to be the focal point of the whole painting, and he was the one that was going to have all the bright colors, so I decided to keep it dark and keep his tones down, and go with the brown suit. Now 
also, if you're wondering where all this crazy music is coming from, if you're a big X-Men fan like me, you know, these are all the classic X-Men video games I grew up with, uh, the Sega Genesis, the Arcade, and the NES, you'll hear me play a little bit later, but that's where all this music comes from. Anyway, as you can tell, I chose Colossus, because Colossus is, in one of the fact, one of my top favorite X-Men characters of all time, I think he has the most dimension and depth in his personality and you know he's not just a big brute that's running around but as you can see I put the most color on him and he is the brightest character which makes him stand out and that's why I chose to do it and here now you can see I'm just you know putting the final touches and just leaving my John Hancock on there and I really had a fun time doing this painting So I hope you guys enjoyed that X-Men painting, it was a really fun one to do. Uh, here is the final product, like I said, 18 by 24 on wood panel, and I can't believe I did this, it took me so long, it took me over a month to paint, uh, getting it in here and there, but anyway, here it is, I hope you guys like it. Let me know what your guys' favorite X-Men character is, don't forget to like and subscribe and add to this channel if you want to see more art stuff. Let me know what fantasy painting you would like to see me next, and I'll see you guys in the next video.